the difference between the compound interest and simple interest on a certain sum at 15 percentage per annum for two years is 486 rupees, find the sum. Rate of interest R is equal to 15 percentage time N is equal to two years. Difference between compound interest and simple interest on a sum at 15 percentage for two years is 486 rupees. Let the principal be x rupees. Substituting values in the formula for compound interest. Amount is equal to x into 1 plus 15 by 100. Whole square is equal to x into 115 by 100. Whole square is equal to x into 23 by 20. Whole square is equal to x into 23 by 20 into 23 by 20 is equal to 529x by 400. Amount is equal to 529x divided by 400 rupees. Compound interest is equal to Amount minus principal is equal to 529x by 400 minus x is equal to 529x minus 400x divided by 400 is equal to 129x by 400. Compound interest is equal to 129x divided by 400 rupees. Substituting values in the formula for simple interest. Simple interest is equal to x into 2 into 15 divided by 100. Simple interest is equal to 30x divided by 100 rupees. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is 486 rupees. Forming an equation based on the above condition. Compound interest minus simple interest is equal to 486. Replacing values of compound interest and simple interest with those determined. 129x by 400 minus 30x by 100 is equal to 486, implies 129x minus 120x divided by 400 is equal to 486, implies 9x is equal to 486 into 400 is equal to 194,400. x is equal to 194,400 divided by 9 is equal to 21,600. Hence, the principal is 21,600 rupees. Let us see another example. The difference between the compound interest and simple interest on a certain sum at 5 percentage per annum for two years is 500 rupees. Find the sum. Rate of interest R is equal to 5 percentage time N is equal to two years. Difference between compound interest and simple interest on a sum at 5 percentage for two years is 500 rupees. Let the principal be x rupees. Substituting values in the formula for compound interest. Amount is equal to x into 1 plus 5 by 100. Whole square is equal to x into 105 by 100, whole square, is equal to, x into 21 by 20, whole square is equal to, x into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 is equal to, 441x by 400. Amount is equal to, 441x by 400 rupees. Compound interest is equal to, Amount minus principal is equal to 441x by 400 minus x is equal to 441x minus 400x divided by 400 is equal to 41x by 400. Compound interest is equal to 
41x by 400 rupees. Substituting values in the formula for simple interest. Simple interest is equal to x into 2 into 5 divided by 100. Simple interest is equal to 10x by 100 rupees. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is 500 rupees. Forming an equation based on the above condition. Compound interest minus simple interest is equal to 500. Replacing values of compound interest and simple interest with those determined. 41x by 400 minus 10x by 100 is equal to 500 implies 41x minus 40x divided by 400 is equal to 500 implies x is equal to 500 into 400 is equal to 2 lakhs. Hence the principle is 2 lakhs rupees. Let us see another example. The difference between the compound interest and simple interest on a certain sum at 20 percentage per annum for two years is 140 rupees. Find the sum. Rate of interest R is equal to 20 percentage time N is equal to two years. Difference between compound interest and simple interest on a sum at 20 percentage for two years is 140 rupees. Let the principal be x rupees. Substituting values in the formula for compound interest. Amount is equal to x into 1 plus 20 by 100 whole square is equal to x into 120 by 100 whole square is equal to x into 6 divided by 5 whole square is equal to x into 6 by 5 into 6 by 5 is equal to 36 x by 25. Amount is equal to 36 x divided by 25 rupees. Compound interest is equal to amount minus principal is equal to 36 x by 25 minus x is equal to 36 x minus 25 x divided by 25 is equal to 11 x by 25. Compound interest is equal to 11 x divided by 25 rupees. Substituting values in the formula for simple interest. Simple interest is equal to x into 2 into 20 divided by 100. Simple interest is equal to 40x by 100 rupees. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is 140 rupees. Forming an equation based on the above condition. Compound interest minus simple interest is equal to 140. Replacing values of compound interest and simple interest with those determined. 11x by 25 minus 40x by 100 is equal to 140 implies 44x minus 40x divided by 100 is equal to 140 implies 4x is equal to 140 into 100 is equal to 14,000 x is equal to 14,000 divided by 4 is equal to 3,500. Hence, the principal is 3,500 rupees.